Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome. I'm Marina Wells. I'm your spiritual catalyst, and I'm going to be doing uh, December 1st to the 15th for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome. I'm sorry, guys. I know um, you're a little bit late. The last little bit, I got super booked, and um, I have a membership that I had to also put extensions out for, so please bear with me that things get pushed behind and I got really overwhelmed and busy. It's like as soon as I put a video on YouTube, I like book up super fast. So um, thank you for your patience. So let's take a look. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's just jump right in, guys. All my information is down below. If you want to know more about me, read my testimonials. People will say amazing things. I'm so blessed to be of service to all of you. And uh, just take a look at my website and all of that. And for all extensions, there is a monthly membership. You get all the extensions, uh, downloadable monthly, um, ca very catalyzing meditations to help heal. Brings a lot of healing through. I, I bring down codes for your energy system. So that helps to activate things and change things. So, all right, let's take a look here. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for Gemini. We are doing the interconnection spread. Thank you, Spirit. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you. So I just needed a little obsidian uh, energy there. I got this from Mexico. It's beautiful. It's like an eclipse. You can look at the sun through it. It's amazing. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups, Gemini, with the Nine of Swords, okay? And we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles as the overall energy. So what I'm seeing here is this situation definitely has a lot of love, okay? Um, chariot on the bottom as well. So there's a lot of energies that are happening here um, that's brought a lot of pain. When you've got high love like this, Ten of Cups, that's everything, okay? People strive uh, throughout their lives um, from, you know, the Ace of Cups, when a new love shows up, through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine being, you know, wishes fulfillment in a material basis. And, and that's how I read it. You know, um, but Ten of Cups is when you really have a spiritual union. That's when you're really moving towards something spiritual. It's brought up a lot of pain, okay? So there's a lot of pain and anxiety that's happening here. Now, let's just make this clear when you're dealing with twin flames and sacred connections it's not pain towards you it's not another person inflicting pain on you it's your own shit inside of yourself that's bringing triggering so here there was some like fast action communication wants to happen for a new offer that's coming through so through this pain somebody's not being able to handle the pain something's going to come out of this something brand new so let's take a look here and see what is going on with divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy and how they are interconnecting this is a gypsy spread you won't see it anywhere else on youtube if you do they're copywriting me because <laughs> this was passed down from a lineage of a gypsy lady i met when i was only eight years old it was in her family for i don't know how long and she taught me how to do it so um yeah it's very sacred it's very personal to me so I'm putting it out there, and that's why I put the copyright thing down below, <laughs> because I have to, guys, I have to, you know. I wish we lived in a world that we could just share everything and love everybody, but that's not reality, and we need darkness as much as we need light, so we got to just learn how to work in all of it. All right, that's what mastery is, you guys, that's what mastery is. All right, let's see here. So this interconnection spread that I'm doing it reads enter cards in all ways, okay? It also works from the inside out, okay? So let's take a look and see what is going on, okay? So we've got the hangman, the magician, right in the middle. So what I see that is there's a lot of growth that's been happening that's ready to manifest, that's ready to come forward. And that's what I was seeing here with this nine of swords that was happening, Gemini, because so this pain, this it's in the feeling position. This is situation feeling, action, outcome. And so this is really, you know, feeling a lot of pain and anxiety. The situation is like the, the most blessed uh, energy ever, but it's like there's so much pain here. And so because of that pain, it's brought a lot of understanding and a different perspective out with the hangman so that things can start to manifest. 
complete separation. Divine masculines at the top, divine feminines at the bottom, but they're both manifesting this. Okay, both have gained an understanding and they're both manifesting now. Divine masculine is here is really still I'm feeling in a place of stubbornness, okay, um, and still being hung about a reunion and coming together and starting it as a friendship. This is going to start as a friendship, celebrating, coming back together, hanging out, saying, hey, love, what's going on? Let's let's hang out for a bit. Um, and so Divine Masculine here is saying, um, I feel he's being a little stubborn about it, though, okay? Um, and, and so that's why this hangman energy is here, but it's just about to manifest, okay? Just about to. It's like I can taste it. It's like I can taste it. Okay, let's clarify a little bit. Let's get deeper into this, okay? Because there is some pain. I want to clarify this Nine of Swords first of all. So let's do that. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords here. That's way too many, Spirit. Clarify the Nine of Swords here for Gemini. Thank you. So the pain is about how to move forward in life. We've got the Three of Wands. Okay. Wow. This person, and I'm feeling it's more of divine masculine energy, okay, um, is looking about how to move forward and realizing they can't move forward because the Ten of Cups is with somebody special, which is whoever's watching this. And so I'm trying to move on, but really in this victimhood, okay, that's where the pain's coming from. A lot of victimhood, um, wounded warrior type of energy. Um, why do things always happen to me? Blech, you know, throwing a fit becoming illuminated to their to their codependency that the victim has kept them trapped in, okay? So that's the energy that's happening there. And now they're going to want to rush forward to offer something. And that's where I feel I need to clarify that, please, Spirit. Yeah, they're waiting. So there's a lot of waiting energy. I'm not sure if this person's going to come forward right away because what I'm getting is they're waiting to rush in. But I feel like when they rush in, they're going to rush the hell in. So they're waiting. They're waiting to see how to move forward, how to bring this stable offer in, okay? It's a new beginning, fresh and new. Let's clarify here the hanged man with the magician. Okay, reconciliation, judgment here um, that just came out. So yeah, getting a new perspective of how to come back together, how to bring, how to manifest this into the physical world. Reconciliation coming right down in between masculine and feminine energies. Look at that, it's really beautiful, guys. Okay, in this little teeny thing, I got, you know, three major arcanas, right? In this little spread here. Magician, hanged man, and the magician, and the uh, justice, a renewal that needs to happen. Let's clarify between divine masculine, divine feminine, with the magician connecting them, what is going on? And that just kind of came right down. Okay, uh, trying to discover more about each other. The Page of Swords is really in a love type of situation is really about, I need to know more about you. I need to communicate and talk to you and discover what this is. So there's a genuine curiosity that's happening between the two. I feel here there's been a lot of healing that's happened between these um, counterparts. So there's, um, yeah, right now there's still some defensive energy. We have Seven of Swords on the bottom. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine energy in regards to what he's manifesting. What is the Emperor manifesting here with the Magician? Okay, so I need to take all of it. So <laughs> this is, they may be with somebody else, okay? My Queen of Wands, that's how it comes out. So we've got the Queen of Wands, the Knight of uh, Wands, Okay, we've got the Five of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups. So, I feel this masculine energy, in order to manifest anything and have this renewal, they need to passionately and quickly action something in regards to walking away from a karmic situation, something that's happening here, because um, I feel it could be also related to family, okay? This person that they're dealing with could be very much connected to their own family, could be that they're in a marriage, um, but there is some type of stability that they're having that they're going to have to walk away from, and they are sad about it. Um, they're looking at what they're lost, so this masculine is really in a grieving process. Are they going to walk spirit? Let's look clarify that are they going to walk with the eight of cups if they're so sad about it okay yeah it's fate that they walk okay we've got the wheel of fortune that came out so yeah it's gonna happen um it's just divine timing <laughs> don't you love that guys it's divine timing so let's see divine feminine divine feminine definitely wants to manifest as well clarify divine feminine here empress with okay we've got the nine of cups here so she's really manifesting her material world right now 
okay? She knows that she doesn't have the 10. She knows that she's not with her masculine, but really looking at, you know, I'm going to, um, well, that's way too many spirit. I'm going to um, focus on these other cups, right? And I'm going to give that cup of love to myself. And because the overall energy is the 10 of cups, right? It is a divine connection. Um, let's clarify a little bit more for divine feminine here with the magician. I think that's it. Queen of Swords, okay, cutting things out that don't serve her. Be coming, say, come clear to me. Come clear to me. And we have the King of, of Swords here. So I feel like this is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine being in their mental energies right now. Divine Masculine is sitting here being a little stubborn about it. She's saying, you got to come clean to me. Let's clarify the King of Swords since we've got a pair here. So she's like manifesting her life, working on herself and saying, you come clear. We have a bird flying at the top here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, right? But she's holding that sword up. She's like, come, come. I'm offering it to you. Come to me, but come clean. Come with truth. Come with clarity. Or you can get the hell out of here, all right? We also have here the Divine Masculine is, you know, upside down. I feel like I'm stubborn. Um, yeah, I don't really... In this spread, I read upside down if they're untold. So just so you know, I read intuitively, guys. This is the Ace of Swords here and the Queen of Cups. So really coming towards Divine Feminine, feeling Divine Feminine energy, feeling the emotions, and moving forward in a truthful manner, knowing that they have to come clean. So knowing that they're a little hesitant about it. Why are they hesitant about it, Spirit? Can you tell us? Why are they hesitant? Because they know that this is huge. We have the star. It's healing. It's massive. It's going to change their life in a really big ass way, okay? So they know that they're sitting here because they know when they take that leap of faith, this whole situation that's causing them pain of what they've done here, um, whatever's caused the separation, they're going to have to end this and it's going to be in divine timing. So really, um, it's just a waiting game is what I'm getting, but I feel this person is really ready to do it, okay? I feel that they're close. Um, yeah yeah that's really that's really what i'm feeling let's get some moonology cards here then we're going to take this to extended okay guys so in the extended we look at divine masculine how um the, the overall energy is with divine masculine to divine feminine and vice versa how divine masculine feels towards divine feminine his actions his outcome and vice versa as well for divine feminine towards divine masculine and also it is with my membership you get um a whole bunch of other stuff we're having our second monthly discussion this friday so i'm super excited about that so let's see here what is going on for divine masculine and divine feminine can i have one card each please one for divine masculine and one for divine feminine Whew, thank you spirit one for divine masculine and one thank you that was easy divine masculine here is what i'm feeling prosperity lies ahead okay we have the new moon in taurus okay could be that it's going to happen come next year in taurus but what i'm feeling is like they know that prosperity is in this connection and they know they are fully aware that they need to move in that direction divine feminine you're getting a new moon in leo confidence is your key so spirit is really bringing up to have confidence in yourself and to trust the divine as well and trust the divine within you to keep doing this and holding your ground of knowing that you want truth and clarity and to keep building up your nine of cups okay so much love guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm gonna go do the extended and if you'd like to join just go down to my website all my information is down below take a look at my site guys if you want a reading or coaching or anything like that feel free you can fill out an application it is a huge waiting list i've gone up to like 80 applications that i'm sorting through um, for a free session um, if you are really looking for an intuitive coach who can catalyze you um, be ready to invest in yourself though that's the key, then fill out the application. All right, guys, see you guys soon, and so much love. Bye.